don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on, YouTube? It is the Big K Cups 360 here, and AMD believes that they are the only contender, the only competitor available to supply Microsoft and Sony with their next generation uh, consoles. They're going to be supplying them with chips, you know, APUs ready to power. Uh, Microsoft and Sony and the Xbox 2 and the PS5 through the next generation through the next era of console gaming now continuing on AMD believes that they can get five times the performance per watt and I mean I say per watt because that is very important they believe they can achieve five times the performance per watt of current generation GPUs which means they believe they can really get a lot of power out of the you know the ninth gen GPUs out of the next chips. Now of course in 2016, AMD is launching Zen, the new high performance CPUs, and they're launching um, Arctic Islands, the next high performance GPUs. And of course they'll be based on the 14, uh, 16 nanometer process. So that of course would be very good, you know, power savings, better performance and whatnot. Same much. I'm not going to get into that for you guys, but pretty much, what does this mean? Well, firstly. Um, I want to point out that AMD says they can get these chips out or they plan on supplying them to these competitors to Microsoft and Sony by 2018 that is only three years away when I say only I'm saying that in the context of the lifespan of the eighth generation of consoles now look they launched at the end of 2013 Xbox One and PlayStation 4 they've only been out for like two years now um, by 2018, that's only going to be a, what, a five-year uh, lifespan. As I was saying before in multiple videos, man, Xbox and PS4 aren't going to last as long as the 360 and PS3. And of course, this rumor, albeit a rumor because it's, it's talking about something that's going to be at least three years away, this rumor pretty much confirms that. I mean, I just can't see the PS4 and the Xbox One, which are struggling to run games at 1080p, uh, and 60 FPS last for another three years. I mean, technology and consoles, and not consoles, and games and whatnot, they develop a lot in a short period of time, man. So I don't think they'll be able to last that long, man. They're eventually going to have to be replaced. And hopefully AMD can get five times the performance per watt of the current GPUs of, or of the current APUs within the current systems so they can get us some really really nice console performance now of course the pc uh would have improved a lot by then and you know i'm not going to get into that but uh it just goes to say that look will we be seeing 4k at that time will we be seeing 4k capable gaming consoles honestly i don't think so i don't think we'll be seeing 4k 60 fps i think we'll be seeing maybe 1440p on consoles being mainstream by then but 4k i mean that's very it, <laughs> It's easier said than done, man. I just don't think it's capable. I don't think it's possible. But of course, once again, it's three years away. I might be wrong. I mean, 4K could be like nothing in three years. I and mean, it could be all beyond 8K. But who knows, man? I can't predict the future. But we're just going to have to watch this video again in three years' time. And maybe the big K was right. So anyway, guys, look. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And look, comment down below. Do you really think AMD is going to be the ones to supply... AMD oh, to supply AMD to supply Microsoft and Sony with gaming chips ready to power the ninth generation of consoles because look I mean it's not like Intel is gonna um, you know make a GPU and then supply bloody Microsoft and Sony with their chips because Intel doesn't have a good GPU IP and on the other side it's not like Nvidia is gonna supply uh, Microsoft and Sony with an APU or whatever because they don't have a good x86 IP so really AMD is the only competitor to do it of course unless unless Microsoft and Sony go back to the you know the old CPU and GPU we're gonna have both um, of course that does cost more money and both of these companies want to save money I mean we all know how much money Microsoft and Sony lost at the 360 and PS3 I mean the sole processor man Wow, that shit lost Sony so much money, man, especially at the start. I mean, devs couldn't program for it. It was just so complex. It was so complicated. It was powerful, but it was just, there's just a lot of other underlying issues with it. And that hindered PS3's games at launch and for a few years following. But look, I'm getting too deep into it. I'm going to shut the hell up. I want you guys to comment down below what you think. And look, the big K will see you later.